This is the conclusion to the fourth phase of pregnancy. It's quite amazing, isn't it? When you first conceived, and for the first 12 weeks, pregnancy just seemed to go on and on and on in that way it does as women are changing, they're often sick, they're irritable, they're grumpy, they're emotional, they're overwhelmed, they can't feel the baby move, they don't even look like they're pregnant, and you are standing there like a stun mullet going, what happened? If you've had a baby before, then you know that phase will eventually move from 12 to 24 weeks, where hopefully she's feeling better, but she still can't feel the baby move, but she is looking pregnant, which means that she feels better about herself, and she's adjusting to being pregnant, and so are you. But the baby still seems really out of reach, sort of figuratively and literally. And then you get through that golden phase, 24 weeks to 36 weeks, where you can feel the baby. She's just begun to feel the baby slightly kick between 18 and 20 weeks. But by 24 weeks, you can actually feel the baby and sometimes see the baby move. By 36 weeks, the baby's rolling around in her belly and it's quite amazing. And she can rest her dinner plate on her belly and eat from it. From 36 weeks to birth, she goes back to feeling less certain. All women are nervous about the birth. We're hardwired to be because prior to medical care, we had to take care of ourselves. There is a truth. You never know what your birth's going to be like. So every woman is faced with that uncertainty, no matter how hopeful she is. We all want to have a safe birth for ourselves and our babies, and we all want to have a good experience. So this is where you come in, and this is where birthing better families really were clear. Men needed to get skilled, and they had to develop skills because no one else was developing them for them. So these 10 pregnancy skills begin to blend now with the birth skills that you're going to use. You'll feel more confident. You'll know when to help. You have a list of two birthing behaviors. <laughs> you can just read those lists. Is she doing this? Is she not? Should She should be doing this. I'm going to help her do that better. And she'll feel more confident in you, and she'll appreciate you and she'll feel more confident in her ability to stay in control and stay on top of this amazing event that moves her from being pregnant to being a mother because she is still pregnant. And so you need to help her end the pregnancy by giving birth. And just remember, giving birth is a weak term, so she is doing the activity of birthing your baby. Well done, guys.